We are ready to roll. It's the NCAA tournament. If you're watching on the stream, Aaron Worm and Rick Gentilo with you. We're on the fan Mankato, KFSP Mankato. We're ready to jump things off, and the jump is won by Arkansas Tech. They're wearing the bright yellow unis, white numerals, green trim. They're the Wonder Boys. Minnesota State in the white uniforms, purple numerals, gold trim. We're in Mavericks above the top of the numerals. Man the man defense by Minnesota State to start. Arkansas Tech going from left to right. Egan's gets a steal. Coming around the scheme, screen was Camerad. And Justin Egan's picks his pocket. That's one thing about Justin. We know he can shoot the three point ball well, but he's very good defensive wise. Peters has it right wing, hands it off to Malik. Back to Peters. Peters slides in over to Justin. The corner. He's camp wide open for three. That one is long. Rebound pulled down by Dylan Peters. Peters back in his way in over to Kai Reese. Tyrese around his screen, top of the key. Double team comes. Pass in the corner to Malik. Malik had to save it from going out of bounds. Sort of a touch pass to Egan. Step back for three. Justin shot is short. Long rebound. And it comes out pulled down by Schaefer. So a couple of good looks there in the opening possession. And now we're going to have an offensive foul on Arkansas Tech. Foul's going to be called. That's going to be on Mitchell. He's going to pick up his first. And a really quick substitution. A minute oh three in. Mitchell will sit down. Sean Cobb, a six foot seven junior from Williamston, Michigan, a Dakota State College hmm. transfer, will check in for Arkansas Tech. Chance of defense, and this place is loud. Not a lot of empty seats here at Breslin Arena. Malik has it, still with it on that left wing. Willingham looking to go. Good defense. I'll spin to the base on a little floater by Malik. Is going to shake off. Loose ball picked up by Peter. So both teams. Looking for their first point, Arkansas Tech looking for their their second shot of the game. Chance of defense, and this is fun. The American machine is here. A lot of the football players in the Minnesota State team sitting behind one of the buckets, and now Egan's going to be called for a reach-in foul. Brooks is driving to the bucket, and Egan's bumped him. That'll be his first team foul number one. And really good action for it. Nobody scored, but for two minutes of action, both up and down, both teams just uh, being aggressive, trying to get to the rim. They haven't put the ball in the basket yet. Again, if you're looking for Minnesota State women's basketball, it's a stream-only game today. Go to the fanmankato.com or go to ktoe.com. Nice pass under, underneath. Missed the layup. Got the second chance. Sean Cobb off the bench. Offensive rebound. Arkansas Tech up 2 nothing. Minnesota State in women's basketball. They're up 9-2. to two. Wow. After the first minute plus. Justin Egan's for three on the other end. Shot no good. Peters battling for it. And a rebound ends up in the hands of Cobb. So Minnesota State off to an 0-4 start from the field to start this one. They're down 2 nothing. Schaefer thought about a three. Now the top player in the GAC conference. Three-pointers no good. Missed there by Peter. Rebound pulled down by Egan. Sure, a lot of nerves for both teams. Malik going right to the bucket. Little floaters no good. Rebound tapped in and good by Hayscamp. Wow. Hayscamp sliding in. And Elijah ties things up at two apiece. And a great job to just follow in. And he was above the rim on his foot back. But the Mavericks needed a basket right away. Right side to Brooks. Guarded by Egan's double team comes on that switch now to the wing to Schaefer Schaefer back to the wing guarded by Malik Willingham 2-2 game 17-09 to go first half swings it right side head fake puts it up a tough shot left it short good defense that was Brooks that missed the baseline jumper here comes Minnesota State Hayes camps not about a long three back to the top to Malik 2-2 game, three minutes gone by Egan's lot pass to Kai. Reese goes up. It's blocked. Wow. Sliding in and blocking his Kai Reese Willingham going up for the jam. It gets blocked in a three-point on the other end. It's no good, but a rebound pulled down by Camerad. Camerad's the one that had the block, so an offensive rebound for the Wonder Boys. Going to the bucket now. Kai Reese with a block. Blocks it on the bounce, and he actually blocked it off of Peter, and the basketball goes to Minnesota State. Wow. Not I don't know if I've, get, yeah, I don't think I've seen two blocks like that here the entire, well, it's been a long time. Both <laughs> tremendous defensive plays on both ends. You kind of had the feeling after Kyrie's got blocked on one yeah. end, he was looking for a block on the other end, and he blocked it off of Peter. Minnesota State to Arkansas Tech, tied it to Malik, goes right to the bucket, little floater is in, the teardrop for Malik Willingham. Top score for Minnesota State, 19 points per game. Again, all five starters in double figures for Minnesota State. Peter thought about a long three. Peter at the free throw line, looking for some help. 
Back to the top of the key to Schaefer. Schaefer with 15 to shoot, drives to the bucket off the glass, going to shake in for Schaefer. And we're tied at four apiece. Can you wonder, boys? They're led by Peter, 19 points a game. Brooks, 12.9. Camerad with 12.3. And it looked down for a second. Who made that was Dylan Egan's Peters. Hit Dylan Peters on really a nice baseline drive, and Peters dove to the basket. So really nicely done by the Mavericks. So Peters gets a bucket, 6-4 Minnesota State. Egan's with the assist. Right side, Peter. In the right corner, driving baseline, little running left-handed layup is no good. Left it short with Schaefer on the rebound. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by Arkansas Tech. We're going to be timeout on the floor. And the head coach, uh, Mark Downey, going right to his players. Not happy. In the year is Sean Cobb. And Lysa Summit's the official as well. 15-23 to go. It's the NCAA tournament. You win, you move on, you lose, and your season comes to an end. 6-4. Minnesota State, the top seed, leads the eighth seed by two. We're back in 30 seconds on the fan, Mankato. Again, the Minnesota State women's basketball team. They're in the round of 36 today. They won their opening round game yesterday. They're playing Fort Hayes State. And just like yesterday, they were up 26-6 to after the first quarter. They went on for a 20-point win. They are taking care of business early in Bethany, Oklahoma. They're up 13-2 with 6-13 to go in the first quarter. Six points for Natalie Bramer. Five for Emily Herzberg. It's now 13-5. Again, if you want to listen to that game, go to KTOE.com or thefanmankato.com. That game is available stream only because we've got plenty of Maverick sports. The immense hockey team playing right now in KTOE if you're looking for hockey. 6-4 lead pass to Willingham. It's blocked by Peter underneath. Trying to reverse layup and good defense by Peter, the 6'4 junior. On the block and enter, and Kyrie's gets the block and now a foul. It's Malcolm Jones. Brady Williams, Harrison brought us all in for Minnesota State. Foul's going to be on Malcolm Jones. It'll be his first. That'll be team foul number two on Minnesota State. So shooting two free throws will be Tommy Camerad. I'm not sure I've ever seen so much action in a game in five minutes and the score is six to four. <laughs> I would agree with you. 81% free throw shooter hits the first one. Can you kind of look around? You have to, to soak everything in here. At Breslin Arena at Taylor Center, this is why every game in the regular season is so important. Winning your regular season conference title, winning the tournament title, to have this kind of atmosphere on your home floor. Second free throw also hit, and we're tied at six apiece. 15.03 to go here in the first half. Minnesota State, their usual rotation. The Willingham brothers out there with Jones, Williams, and Harrison Brada. Speaking of one of the Willinghams, Kyrie's able to knock down the three in the corner. Kind of rattled in. And Minnesota State knocking down their first three of the game, 9-6 Mavericks. Top of the key to Schaefer. This is what's now back. Ross Jones for a second. Schaefer over to Peter. Peter over to Kyrie's on the ground. One knee for Schaefer. Gets it over to Malik. Malik left elbow right to the bucket. It's blocked by Peter on the way up. That's going to be a great matchup between the top players and their respective leagues going at it. There's a layup on the other end. That's Brooks off the glass and Goodman right at Brady Williams. It's a 9 8 game. Wonder Boys and Mavericks. Williams has it in the paint, driving in. Wow. Out of contact, puts it up, shot no good. Left it short for about six feet. Rebound by Arkansas Tech. Tech trying to get back on top. Peter left side, back to the top of the key to Camerad. Camerad pulls up at the free throw line, knocks it down. And it's 10-9, Wonder Boys on top by a point. 13.45 to go here in the first quarter, or first half. Yeah, everyone's good at this point. It's the NCAA tournament. 
Many teams at home right now wishing they were here in Mankato. Malik Willingham looking for a screen from Brontis. Malik still at the basketball, now on the left side. Miles, a tough pass, might have been tipped, almost picked off on the right side, but Kyrese Willingham chases it down. Kyrese right to the bucket, he goes wow. up, he's fouled. And a couple of free throws coming up for Kyrese. Well, if you're going to take the ball to the basket today, boy, you better put your armor on to go into the lane because Ky Kyrie's took that about as hard as you could go. And I didn't think they were going to call a foul on that one, but it, the action is so heated defensively. Not for the faint of heart to No, there. it is not on either end. So Kyrie's will shoot a couple of free throws. First one is short. Kyrie's coming in a 68% free throw shooter. Minnesota State shoots 75% as a team from the charity strike. Kyrie's with three points and knocks down the second one to tie things up at 10 apiece. Central region action here in the Fan Man, Kato KFSP, Aaron Worm, and Rick Gentilo with you. 10-10 game, 13-15 to go in the opening half. Pass inside, Peter with is gonna put it up over Kyrie. it spins off the rim and Brady Williams comes down with the rebound. Head coach of Arkansas Tech just slamming down his hand. Don't hurt our new scores today. No, the scoreboard. Score stable's nice. Malcolm Jones, right elbow driving in, puts it up off the glass, too strong. Rebound pulled down by Peter. He'll shuffle it ahead to Brooks. Brooks in transition off the glass, too strong. He had Kai Reese and Malik flying at him, the Willingham brothers. And Minnesota State comes down with the rebound. Both guys definitely altered his shot. 10-10 game, 12-36 to go first half. Brontis on the top of the key. Brontis by the Maverick logo, left side to Malik. Malik looking for a screen from Jones. Double team comes, looking for some help, almost lost it. Back to Kai Reese. Kai Reese with the right elbow, kicks to Brontis, open for three in the corner. Brontis shot, oh, just rattles out. Rebound pulled down by Peter. 10-10 game. Both teams a slow start offensive-wise. Minnesota State 4 of 15 from the field, 26.7%. The Wonder Boys for 13 from the field, 30%, and now a turnover. Trying to cut to the bucket, one of their guards lost the handle, a turnover. We got some substitutions, Dylan Peters and Elijah Hayescamp will check in. Both the Willingham brothers will sit down. This is the kind of game, too, you probably need a break quicker because the adrenaline that you have that goes through you, you just get out of breath really quick. And here's where I think the Maverick bench matters. Well, here's the good thing. Minnesota State is tied with 12-1 to go in the first half. Again, they haven't played for 11 days. Yeah. That's a long stretch to be off. So you expect a little rust to be out there as Egan's trying to shake off that rust. Little 12-foot jumper in the paint. And it's 12-10. Two-point lead for Minnesota State. After you're used to playing every weekend for so long, 11 days, that's a long time to just practice. So Egan splits Minnesota State back on top. Top of the key, Schaefer. Schaefer for three over Hayes. Cam hits it. So Schaefer knocks it down, and there's a handful of fans that have made the drive, I think, 10-plus hours to get here from Russellville, Arkansas, sitting behind that bench. Wonder Boys up by a point, 13-12. And a Wonder Boys team that comes with a pretty impressive record at 25-6. And now a turnover on Minnesota State. Basketball back to uh, Arkansas Tech. Head coach of Minnesota State, Matt Morgansdale, are not happy with that call. No, that, I don't. I agree with them because it was either foul or give the ball back to the Mavericks underneath out of bounds. But if you're going to take it to the basket or rebound it, you better go in there with uh, a real good purpose, or you're not going to get a call. Yeah, they're they're letting yeah they're letting teams play. It's physical here at the NCAA tournament. And if you missed the games from earlier today, our first game was a buzzer beater. UMD beats Fort Hayes State. Fort Hayes State was up by a point with eight seconds to go. Had a one-on-one -on -one attempt. They missed the front end. UMD able to push the pace to the other end. And a layup made by Matt Thompson as time expired. They checked the, the replay to make sure. And it was off in plenty of time as UMD wins 59-58. Number two over, or that back, number three over number six. Our second game, Northwest Missouri State, who's used to hosting the Central yeah. Region. They win by 30 against Southwest Minnesota State, 73-43. In that game, they were up at halftime by 15 points, 37-22. And they had made one two-point bucket in the first half. 
one two-point bucket. All their points in the first half came from a three-point range of the free throw line. They hit eight threes in the first half. They hit 11 free throws, and they were up by again 15 at halftime, and they're the real deal. They win by 30, 73, 43 earlier today. After the timeout, 13-12 lead. The Wonder Boys, the eight seed over the one seed. Baseline jumper from eight feet, knocking it down to Schaefer. Schaefer lost a handle going up. They're the recover. It's 15-12, three-point lead. Bronis will bring it across the timeline. Right side to shot. Shot looking for some help. Or not shot. Take the back. Dylan Peters. I was thinking of Mike Shot, associate head coach, will join us at halftime. A little floater put up. Just rolls off the rim right side for Minnesota State. Long pass at the Peter in transition right to the bucket. A one-hand jam. And the Wonder Boys, Arkansas Tech, they're up by 5, 17, 12. It's a 7-0 run by Tech. It was 12-10, Minnesota State. MSU needs a bucket inside. Brady Williams goes for a one-hand jam. It's no good, but he's fouled in a couple of free throws. Coming up for Williams. It's really what the Mavericks have done best is to get the ball down in a short corner and then dive somebody from the backside, which they certainly did. Brady Williams is this. I just think he's such a hard guard. So Brady Williams will shoot a couple. First free throw is no good. And again, we've seen this from Minnesota State at times, especially in the first half. And again, there's a lot of nerves. They know the pressure's on them, especially in this first game. And you're right, though, Aaron. I mean, to not play for, you know, 11 days is a huge deal. Yeah, Brady had 11 points in that championship win against UMD. Second free throw for Brady is good. One and two. So we've seen it many times that once Minnesota State gets in the flow of the game, yep. it's a much different team. And right now they're down by four. They snap a 7-0 run. Right now it's a 7-1 run by Arkansas Tech. 17-13 Wonder Boys, 10 minutes to go. First half. Top of the key, Schaefer. Schaefer guarded by Bratis. Hands it off on the right side to Camerad. Camerad almost traveled there at the free throw line. Back to Schaefer, eight to shoot. Schaefer still with it around the screen left side. Kicks in the corner on the wing. Pull up 18-foot jumper. That shot is no good. Missed by Camerad. Rebound pulled down by Peters. 17-13. Willingham, that's Kyrese with four. Only Maverick with more than one bucket and a push foul is going to be called. On Arkansas Tech, that's going to be on Mitchell. And for Mitchell, he's going to pick up. That's his second. And that's a big call. Uh, Josh Mitchell, the defensive player of the year, the Great American Conference, six foot eight junior from Tupelo, Mississippi, will have to sit down. They're picking up his second. Team foul number four at Arkansas Tech. Mavericks down by four, nine and a half minutes to go in the first half. Blake Willingham pass side to Peters, too far underneath the bucket. It went through Dylan's hands, a turnover. And Schaefer with it the other way. 17 13, Wonder Boys up by four. Right side, Brooks, guarded by Malik. Brooks looking for some help to the top to Cobb. And back to Schaefer running the offense. 15 to shoot, Schaefer looking for a screen at the top of the key. Hands it off to Peter. Peter, back to Schaefer with eight to shoot. Schaefer guarded by Egan's, goes right to the bucket. Underhand layup, too strong off the glass. Rebound pulled down by Peters. And the Carice Willingham to Hayes Camp. Two far underneath the bucket. Back to Malik for three in transition. Malik shots off to the right. Peters a tap out to Egan's. Offensive rebound for Minnesota State. Left side to Hayes Camp. Hayes Camp drives in the paint. Head fake puts it up. Contact, no foul. He missed it. Peters gets the rebound. Peters had it knocked away. Oh, Sams it out to Schaefer. They are letting them play here in the first half. 17-13, four-point lead for the Wonder Boys. Eight and a half minutes to go in this first half. Hands it off right seat. Cameron for three. His three is no good, but an offensive rebound. Peters bailing for it. And right away, Sean Cobb had the offensive rebound, and Peters knocked it away. Speaking of Peters in transition, his layup is good. He's wow. like an antelope as he flies down the court. That was a tough layup. The pass is right next to the bucket. He had to go up so quick with it. It's a two-point game, 17-15 Wonder Boys. Tom Brady all of a sudden became the point guard for the Mavericks, it looks like. Unreal. <laughs> Peter has it left wing. Double team comes on Peter. Peter pass goes off the foot of Malik Willingham. It'll be a kick. And we're going to have a time on the floor. It's the NCAA Tournament Central Region opening round action. One versus eight. And right now the eight seed, Arkansas Tech. 
They're up by two over Minnesota State, 17-15. We'll take a 30-second timeout. Maverick basketball on the fan, Mankato. And Rick Genelo with you here on the Fan Mankato. Down in Bethany, Oklahoma, second round of the NCAA tournament in women's basketball. Again, if you're looking for that game, the fanmankato.com and ktoe.com. It's a stream only game today for the fan.com or ktoe.com to listen to that game with Dan Brookins. Minnesota State was up by 11 early at 13 to 2. They played one quarter there. Minnesota State 24, Fort Hayes State 19. Five-point lead for Minnesota State after the first quarter. 43 points scored in that game in 10 minutes. A lot of offense going on there. 32 points scored here in 12 minutes in our game. 17-15, Wonder Boys with the lead. And the basketball. And both teams, I think, uh, Kyrie's Willingham's getting something put on his jersey, I think. But both teams defensively have been just terrific and have guarded the paint really well defended challenged the shots rebounded it and got out and ran just neither team has shot the ball well I mean the Mavericks one for six from three and they just the reason they're one for six is because they haven't got an open look yet um, and they'll get that I think as they get some more rhythm to their offense but we got 751 to go Aaron it's gonna be big and who can play the best seven minutes and 51 seconds to end the half 17 15 two-point lead for Arkansas Tech Schaefer's got seven. Camarant's got four to lead the way. Right side to Cobb. Cobb hands it off to Camarant. That's a tough three. Moving to his right. He missed it. Rebound pulled down by Kyrie Willingham. The Willingham brothers out there with Egan's, Hayes Camp, and Malcolm Jones. Malik, little floater off the glass and good. Wow. Thanks to get Malik going. He's got four points. We're tied at 17. Kind of his signature shot, that little floater on the baseline. Got it to go. We're tied. I think everybody that's driven to the basket has gotten knocked down today, but there hasn't been many fouls called. It was a 7-0 run by the Wonder Boys. Mavericks with a 5-0 run. And now Brooks with a layup to break that tie, 19-17. Can Arkansas Tech 25-6, Minnesota State 29-2. The Great American Conference, again, only getting one team in this NCAA tournament. Egan's has it left side. Egan's looking to drive, step back three for Justin Whopper. Knocks it down, it's 20 to 19. One point lead for Minnesota State, Justin Egan's. He's got five points, his first three. In that right corner now to the wing. That is Braden Tanner, six foot one freshman from Dardanelle, Arkansas. Now back to the top to Brooks. Brooks going to pull up the free throw line over Hayes Camp. His shot is short. Peter trying to tap it in. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Minnesota State. So Schaefer, who took a quick breather, he'll come back in. Dylan Peters will come in as well. Dylan with four points and four rebounds already. Malik Willingham is trying to explain to the official what happened. It might be the first time Malik had to look up to an official. <laughs> Give Malik Willingham, Player of the Year in the Northern Sun Conference, MVP of the conference tournament, Player of the Year here in the Central Region. Oh, and off the glass and good in the paint, taking his time over Dylan Peters with Sean Combe. Wonder Boys back up by a point, 21-20. It's been a battle here early, 6.05 to go first half. Willingham across the timeline. Looking for a screen from Peters right side. Malik has on that right wing. Malik driving in trust. The Peters for a two-hand dunk. Little give and go back and forth between those two. And Dylan Peters, the recipient of a beautiful pass from Malik. He's got six. Mavericks back up by a point. 22-21. Schaefer top of the key. Right side to Camarad. Back to Schaefer. Schaefer looking to go on Malik. Now has it right side. 534 to go first half to Peter. Peter guarded by Kyrie. Wow. Almost lost it. Five to shoot. Peter to Schaefer in between the circles. Schaefer unloads for three. He hits it. 
That was great defense by the Willingham brothers, but Schaefer knocks down the three. His second of the game. Wonder Boys up by two, 24-22. Yeah, not much you can do about that no. one. Right? No, it's uh, three, four feet outside the three-point line. Now Malik's going to be bumped in front of the scorer's table. Chad Courier at the Mankato Free Press put his hand out to make sure that Malik didn't fall into him. That would be the first assist that Chad Curry ever had, but that's okay. <laughs> Cobb's going to pick up the foul. That's the fifth on the Wonder Boys, the second on Minnesota State. They want to look at the last three-pointer. Okay. They want to look at the last three that was hit down here. Or no, last three, I think, on the other end yeah. by Schaefer. And they have an official that's sitting at the scorer's table and his job is to look over things like that so they don't have to worry about looking at it later and the official at the table said that was a three-pointer someone get knocked over the well, other side the end of the scores table did and Keswick <laughs> Joyner the official was trying to fix it I'll say he was sitting next to us he was the official at the scores table for the last game he's a great guy 24 22 Peters with it. Peters gets pumped. He's falling down in the paint. No fouls called. It goes out of bounds last touch by the Wonder Boys. Minnesota State wants a foul. Wonder Boys want to travel. Elijah Hayes can't give him the symbol for, hey, everybody just relax. Everybody calm down. Getting a lot of, lot of energy. A lot of nervous yes. energy. Yes, for sure. Can he play 31 games to get into a tournament where it's one and done? Malik in the Peters right elbow. Peters looking for some help over to Egan's on that right wing. Justin with the basketball. Justin looking to go. Going to pull up 12-foot jumper. Shot is long. Rebound pulled down by Cobb. 24-22, the eighth seed, Arkansas Tech. On the home floor, the host, top seed in second-ranked Minnesota State. Wonder Boys are up by two, 24-22. Schaefer, right side to Brooks. Brooks around the screen. Brooks in the left elbow. Brooks still with a win, nine to shoot. Brooks back in his way in the Hayes camp, still bumping. Double team comes, his pass is off the hands of Kyrie, Reese out of bounds. And Arkansas tackle inbounds with five seconds in the shot clock. And really good defense by the Mavericks. They switched really well, they talked pretty well, and now they got to defend for five more seconds. Peter will inbounds, pass inside over the head of Egan's, and Egan's will be called for the foul. There was the height disadvantage, Sean Cobb at six foot seven. And Justin Egan's at six foot three, and Egan's gonna call for the hold. And, and that was probably he, he had a foul. Him, otherwise, I think an easy bucket was coming. I think I don't think Coach Morgenthaler quite agrees with that call. And there's been a lot of other things that have gone on, but that's okay. Well, Egan's will pick up his second. Yeah. He'll should sit down. Harrison Bronis will check in. That's team foul number three on Minnesota State. A three in the corner is good. Knocking it down off the inbounds is Brooks. It's 27-22. Wonder Boys up by five. Their biggest lead of the game. Now Peter sliding in. He got it stolen away by Schaefer. Loose ball picked up by Kyrie. Over to Hayescamp for three. His three is good. Minnesota State needed that. Elijah Hayescamp off a mad scramble for the loose basketball. Kyrie picks it up. Shovels it to him. Big three. Big answer. Lead down to two. You could say this whole first half has kind of been a mad scramble here. I think. It seems like there hasn't been a lot of flow. It's just been some tough guy plays. Schaefer top of the key, guarded by Broadus. Broadus, Hayes, Camp, Peters. Willingham and Willingham out there for Minnesota State. Brooks has it right side going in. Reverse layup is good. So Brooks knocks down a three. Reverse layup. He's got nine points. Timeout by Arkansas. Attack the lead is four, 29-25. And again, this Arkansas Tech team, they have nothing to lose. I'm sure they jumped on a plane, got up here a couple of days ago. Mentioned a ten and a half hour drive if you're taking car or probably bus or, or train yeah. to get here to Mankato. I'm sure they enjoyed coming north in the spring. I'm sure it's not very nice in Arkansas and Russellville, Arkansas right now, but so far they've been really good i mean defensively how are they in ac they're defensively been really good they challenged all the stuff the mavericks have tried to do and have just competed really hard for the first you know 17 minutes again they've lost or not lost i should say they've won 10 games in a row coming in minnesota state also winners at 10 in a row so both have 10 game winning streaks and i'm looking when it comes to common opponents uh, both teams took on Arkansas Monticello Minnesota State met them 
69-57 win. That was in Kansas City back in November. 12-point win against Arkansas Monticello. And they beat that same team twice, 87-81. And they also beat them 67-50. And they lost their, their first two games this season, Arkansas Tech did, taking on teams from the MIAA. They lost to Emporia State, 86-76. They got beat by Fort Hayes State, which was in the NCAA tournament. They got beat earlier by UMD. They lost to Fort Hayes State, 66-52. But again, those are early games. Arkansas Tech started the season 0-2. They've been 25-4 ever since. The AC how. right now up by four. I like that. I mean, they've got a really good group. Kyrie's the free throw line, looking for some help. Right side to Broadus. Brought us on that wing, back to Kai Reese. Right baseline, Kai Reese back in his way in, still back in his way in. Little runner, block comes over. Sliding over for the double team is Sean Cobb, and Cobb with the block. It remains a four-point game, 3-12 to go here in the first half of the NCAA tournament. Central region opening round, Mavericks down by four. In a fight against the eighth seed early. Brooks driving in, drops off underneath, and Malik knocked it away. Loose ball, scramble on the baseline, and Malik took it away. He knocked it away from Cobb, and then both guys fighting for the basketball. Malik comes up with it. Now Peter's sliding in, and a foul is going to be called, and Dylan's going to shoot a couple. Harrison Broaddus got it to Dylan Peters, and Peters will go to the free throw line. That's been the best offense the Mavericks have had today. Get out and run and in transition when Arkansas Tech isn't quite back, because defensively when the Mavericks have tried to run something, Arkansas Tech has, you know, they've doubled the ball screens, which have made it really difficult. They challenge passes. They challenge your dribble. Dylan Peters, 10 and a half points per game. All-conference second team in the Northern Sun. He's a 72% free throw shooter. And Peters with seven points to lead the way for Minnesota State. Four rebounds. And we've seen this in games before where, where the offense has struggled. Dylan Peters has kind of picked up the slack in the first half before other guys join him. He hits the second one as well. It's a two-point game, 29-27. 2.50 to go. Aaron Worm and Rick Gentilo with you on KFSP, the Fan Man Cato. 12.30 a.m., FM 103-1. And that pass underneath a turnover. Schaefer on a back door trying to get it to Camerad. Schaefer given the symbol. He thought there was a push on Minnesota State. No whistle. And a turnover on the Wonder Boys. Gets their sixth turnover. So they have had, they've had turned it a few times. But the Mavericks need to end the half here well. 2.34 to go. Yeah, Minnesota State's last lead was at 9 to 6. It's been a while. Bronis has it right side. Bronis a screen around Peter's top of the key. Left side to Malik. Malik driving in. Malik's going to pull up a little 10-foot floater. Is strong. Rebound. Ends up to Hayes Camp. Hayes Camp kicks it out. Kyrie's for three. Rattles in. Offensive rebound. Turns it to a three ball for Kyrie's Willingham. His second three. He's got seven points. And Minnesota State back on top by a point. 30-29. to 29. That was Elijah Hayes Camp giving that one alive. Trying to answer a three on the other end. That shot is no good by Brooks. Rebound pulled down by Peters. Mavericks up by one. Peters going right to the bucket. His layup no good. He's fouled. And a couple of free throws coming up for Dylan Peters. And that's the luxury of having a guy like Dylan Peters oh. because he can run the floor so well. And he plays the five out there for you. I think he might, he's the best running big guy I think the Mavericks have had. I can't remember the last guy they had. Certainly not that they could run like he can. So Peters will shoot two. He's got eight points. Peters will hit the first free throw. Fouls called on camera. And it'll be his first. Team foul number seven on the Wonder Boys. And again, the top players in their respective league. Peter has two points. Malik Willingham's got four. Wow. So the two stars held in check so far in this one. Second free throw by Peters is also good. 32-29. Peter is one of four from the field. Malik is two of eight. 32-29. Mavericks up by three after two free throws by Peters. Dylan's got ten points. Brooks. Now pass inside. A nice cut baseline. Easy layup. Camerad able to finish. The pass came from Cobb in the corner. That's 32-31. Maverick lead down to one. 85 seconds to go in this first down. Central region opening round. 
from Resident Arena at Taylor Center here in Mankato. Hayscamp, left side, Pratis open for three in the corner. Harrison's shot is no good. Rebound tapped around. Ends up in the hands of Brooks. Now the Peter going right to the bucket. Good defense by Hayscamp, but he still rolls it in. And Peter's got four points. Wonder Boys, they're up by a point, 33-32. Malika double team, they're doubling every time Malika has the basketball. Broadus left side, Broadus slides in to Peters. Peters goes up, out of contact and still finish. No whistle, but Peters, he's got a dozen here in the first half. And Minnesota staying up by a point, 34-33. 41 seconds to go. Differential about 18 seconds, shot clock and game clock. Peter going baseline. Kyrie comes over. Kyrie blocks the shot. Peter put it up. And here comes Minnesota State. A four on two. Malik right to the bucket. Layup no good. Rebound. A scramble for it. And Cobb comes up with it. And then he, oh. I think that Brooks comes up with it. It should have been a double dribble instead of an easy layup. By Schaefer. Brooks double dribble. There was no whistle. Schaefer got the bucket. It's a one point lead for the Wonder Boys with seven seconds to go here in the first half. Peters driving in right to the bucket. Wow. His layup is good. Peters has 14. Mavericks up by one as his first down comes to an end. And head coach Matt Morgan Taylor going right to the official. His associate head coach Mike Schott will join us. We got ourselves a good one. Minnesota State up by a point, 36-35. Associate head coach Mike Schott joins us here at halftime. And did you expect maybe, I don't want to say rustiness, but again, the team hasn't played for 11. They like the way Arkansas Tech played. I thought they uh, get out and competed really hard. They defend really well. For the Mavericks, they have been a slow starting team, I think. And to get some rhythm after 11 days off, I think they'll play better in the second half. And I think the, the depth that they have is going to show in the second half. But I do think Arkansas Tech's going to give them all they have because it seems like their coach, their coach is certainly a fiery guy. And the Mavericks have to find a way to get, uh, you know, I, I'm going to guess they're going to adjust the ball screen cover that Arkansas Tech gave him where they doubled Malik all the time. The Mavericks will do something a little bit different because they need to get Malik off and going. He's only he's only attempted one three-pointer, so they got to find a way to get him open. Update um, when it comes to hockey, that's on KTOE. They're in the third period. 3-2 Minnesota State against Michigan Tech. 13.50 to go in that one. Then the winner moves on to the CCHA Finals coming up next week, and there's an NCAA tournament berth on the line. Only one team is going to make it out of the conference. Whoever wins this conference tournament, I get in Houghton, Michigan. Mavericks up three to two over Michigan Tech. In Bethany, Oklahoma, they're at halftime, second round of the NCAA tournament. Central Region semifinals, Minnesota State leads Fort Hayes State 41 31. That's at halftime. Wow. So Minnesota State 20 minutes away from advancing to the Central Region Final in Bethany, Oklahoma. We're underway here, second half. Aaron Worm and Rick Jedelow with you. 36-35, a three-pointer right off the bat. Malik Willingham knocks it down. And I got a feeling that play was drawn up for the, the most valuable player in the Northern Sun. He knocks it down, 39-35. Mavericks up by four. Pass inside. Underneath the bucket, double team comes. Out to Peter. Peter was bumped. No whistle. Pass underneath the block by Peters. Going up strong for it. That was Mitchell and Peters with the block. Egan's right side to Hayes Camp. Back to Malik. Malik on that right wing. 39-35. Dylan Peters, 14 points. Kyrese with 7. Malik with 7 to lead the way for Minnesota State. Kyrese on the wing. And a pass trying to get back to his brother Malik. Almost turned it over, but Malik chases it down. Brings it back out to the wing. 39-35, 39-35, Mavericks by four. Malik with four in the shot clock. A long three-pointer, top of the key is no good. Rebound pulled down by Schaefer. We see Minnesota State when it, they need someone that they get going offensive-wise. They draw that first play of the second half up for them. And it worked that time with Malik knocking down a, a three-pointer. Now a turnover and a foul is going to be called in Arkansas Tech. Josh Mitchell trips up Peters after the turnover. I think that's his third foul. So Josh Mitchell has probably only played about three minutes of the 22 that the game has been played. Yeah, let's see here for Mitchell. Yeah, just four minutes. And again, he's the defensive player of the year in the Great American Conference. 39-35, four-point lead for Minnesota State. Leading the way for Arkansas Tech. Schaefer with 12. Camerad with 6. Brooks with 9. Egan's for 3. Top of the key. Count it. 
for Jay Money knocks it down. So back-to-back threes to start the second half. And Minnesota State's up by 7, 42-35. And that brings the crowd here at Breslin Arena to their feet. Schaefer going baseline. Over right wing to Brooks. Brooks on the top of the key. Guarded by Malik Willingham. Brooks left side. Hands it off to Peters. Back to the top to Schaefer. Schaefer guarded by Egan. Schaefer still with it. Schaefer the free throw line. Kicks in the corner. Over to Brooks. Brooks going to drive in right at Peters and over. Peters and good. Good patience by Arkansas Tech. 42-37. Maverick lead down to five after the Mavericks scored the first. Six points in the second half. Malik with the three, Justin with the three. Egan's left side there. Uh, in the first half and really reversing the ball and getting the ball swung second one by peter is no good that one kind of swims out stays a seven point game 45 to 38. so minnesota state a 9-2 run to start the second half and three three pointers going down after hitting just four the entire first half malik left side to hayes in the corner to justin for three justin shot as well long but elijah's going to chase it down the corner and we have a foul or oh he wants to dribble it out of bounds kind of lost vision in the right corner next to the maverick bench so good hustle by elijah 45 38 if you're a maverick fan this is the kind of second half yeah. start you want it 17 minutes to go central region opening around peter in the paint kicks it right side whoa back to the top of the key to schaefer Schaefer trying to go on Egan. Schaefer in the paint. Pulls up from 12 feet. A shot is short. Rebound pulled down by Hayes Camp. I heard you, whoa. Well, yeah. <laughs> Malik for a three-pointer top of the key. That shot is short. Rebound pulled down. That was a whoa, too, I think. That was <laughs> deep. <Yeah. laughs> would have been a good whoa if it would have went in. Now Schaefer for three. Speaking of good shots, Schaefer knocks down a three. His third three of the game 45 41 just like that it's a four-point game after a 9-2 run to start the second half on minnesota state Mavericks with three three-pointers the first a handful of minutes here in the second half peters top of the key right side to egan egan's on the wing got it stolen taken away by brooks here comes arkansas tech three on two and trying to swing it in the wow. corner kyrie's willingham flying through the air knocked it out of bounds we'll keep it right here with arkansas tech Peter would have been wide open in the corner for a three by Kai Reese. Good hustle back on defense. Yeah, Minnesota Duluth and Northwest Missouri State. Both teams already won. In first round action, those two teams will play tomorrow at five. Winner of this game will take on either MSU Moorhead or Pittsburgh State at 7.30. Pass inside the block to Cobb. Cobb hands it off and a two-hand jam is Camerad going through the paint. And a nice answer. It's a 6-0 run by the Wonder Boys. The lead is down to two after Minnesota State led by eight. 45-43, 15-35 to go. Egan's going baseline and went off of somebody trying to drop it off to Peters. We're going to have a timeout on the floor. It's the NCAA tournament. It's a good one. The eight seed, Arkansas Tech, trails the top seed in second rate Minnesota State by two. Mavericks 45, Wonder Boys 43, 15-32 to go in this one. We're back in 30 seconds. And the fan, Mankato.
Aaron Worm and Rick Gentilo with you here on the Fan Man Cato. Men's Hockey CCHA semifinals. Minnesota State leads Michigan Tech 3-2 with nine minutes to go in that one. Mavericks trying to move on to the finals of the CCHA coming up next weekend. They're still at halftime. They have not started the third quarter. According to live scoring, 41-31. Minnesota State women's basketball team second round of the NCAA tournament. They lead Fort Hayes State by 10, 41-31. If you're looking for that game, you can find it online, thefanmankato.com or ktoe.com. There's a live stream right there online. Again, ktoe.com and thefanmankato.com. Nobody else has more than one. And for Minnesota State, Egan's has two. Three guys have just one. Team fall number two on the Mavericks, one in Arkansas Tech. And Peter took Egan's down the screen. There's no whistle. Peter in the corner. Baseline, cross-court pass, right side. Faking the shot. Brooks will pull up, and Brooks hits the three, falling backwards. And it's 48-46. Yeah, Egan's got taken out there. Head coach Matt Morgenthaler wanted a, a whistle, no whistle. And Brooks able to cash in for a three-pointer. He's got 14 points to lead the way for the Wonder Boys. A three by Egan trying to answer, and he does. Justin Egan's in the corner. Knocks it down. That is the fifth three-pointer hit by Minnesota State here in the second half. Leads back to five, 51-46. Both teams' offenses are cooking here in the second half. Pass inside, gets around Peters and spins in for an easy two. Nice job by Sean Cobb. Got a good position, left block. Gets around Peters and Cobb able to finish. He's got six points. Cameron with the assist, his second. 51 48, three point lead for Minnesota State. Egan's top of the key, left side to Hayes Camp. Back to Justin in between the circles. Justin looking for a screen. Back to Kai Reese in the corner to Malik. Malik is open for three in the corner. Malik knocks it down. It's raining threes here at Breslin Arena. The 6-3 hit here in the second half. They got it because they've just moved the ball so well in the last two possessions. They've gotten wide open shots. Minnesota State 6-9 from three-point range in just over six minutes here in the second half. They're up by six. Now trying to answer a three on the other end. That's long by Brooks. Rebound pulled down by Peters. 54-48. Just like that, four Mavericks in double figures. After Dylan Peters led the way with 14 in the first half. Now Kai Reese wide open for three top of the key. He knocks it down in the timeouts called by Arkansas Tech. And Kai Reese looks right at the student body as Minnesota State hits seven three-pointers in six minutes and 44 seconds. And just like that, the Mavericks are up by nine, 57-48. Yeah, they've gotten the lead because they've just moved the ball great and they've gotten back and defended pretty well. But when the Mavericks play like that, like they have the last three or four minutes, they can beat just about anybody. But they have, you know what, Arkansas Tech's not going to go away. I like the way they play and they're a determined group. But uh, the Mavericks, you know, when they're determined, they're pretty good. Absolutely. And again, throughout the season, Minnesota State has had first halves like this. And we'll talk to associate head coach of Mike Sean in the postgame show. They've had slow first halves. And, you know, they, they, they talk about in the second. They know it's the final 20 minutes. They have to really lock in for the last 20. And they've done that for the first six-plus minutes here in the second half. And, again, hot shooting helps. 11 of 20 from three-point range, 55%. Arkansas Tech, 5 of 10 from three-point range for 50%. But again, 7 of 10 from three-point range. They have not attempted a two-point field goal here in the second half. How about that? All 10 shots have come from three-point range. They're up by nine. They have. I mean, they have. Wouldn't you want them? I mean, they have such good shooters. I mean, Dylan Peters got in there and kicked it once. 
Hayes Camp drove in the baseline and got Justin Egan's in the other corner wide open. When they move the ball and drive and kick, it, I, what I love about the Mavericks is, you know, the, the ball screen stuff that gave them such fits in the first half they've gone away from and really have done a good job of just spacing it out and finding ways to get open shooters. And they've done a good job the first seven minutes of the half. Minnesota State women's team are up by 11, 48-37, 6.50 to go in the third quarter. In their second round NCAA tournament game, that game on the Fan Mankato, also KTOE, or on the FanMankato.com, I should say, KTOE.com. That's a stream-only game. Schaefer the basketball, back to Peter. Peter looking for some help. Peter looking to drive. Almost traveled. Now the free throw line and a pass. They threw it away. Anybody touch it for Minnesota State? They're going to say the Mavericks touched it. It's Camerad with the pass to the free throw line. It skips out of bounds. And love to see the football team. They're filling up the first of two, three rows. <laughs> Cheering on their, their fellow classmates. They're standing up. Yeah, if you want to sit, don't be sitting behind the hoop. Those guys are on their feet. Shaver for three with the shot clock expiring. Rebound put up no good by Bruss, but he was fouled. And a couple of free throws coming up. And just looking around and have not received an official attendance number as of yet. No, I haven't seen oh, it. Oh, there we go. Okay. 4,012 in attendance. Well, that was an hour ago. I think there's more. I think there is, too. There was some open seats, you know, at the about halftime, but, and there's still a few, but not many. So Brooks will knock down the first free throw, 57-49. Over 4,000 in attendance for this opening round game of the NCAA tournament. Mavericks 29-2 as the second one goes down. Arkansas Tech 25-6. Great American Conference against the Northern Sun. Northern Sun is 1-1 one one on the day. Duluth won their game. Southwest Minnesota State lost. Egan for three. That's it down. His defender flew by him, and Justin was wide open for a three-pointer. His fourth three of the game. He's got 14 points. Him and Peters both with 14 points. Double team comes. Almost a turnover. Brooks has it right wing. Back to the top to Schaefer. Open for three, and he answers. This Schaefer, he's a good shooter. Four is six from three-point range. He's got 18 points to lead down the seven. 60 to 53. And Brady Williams is out there with Egan's, Hayes Camp, and the Willinghams. Guy Reese has it right wing. Back to the top to Malik. A long three top of the key. Just rattles in and out. Rebound. Nice. Hayes Camp puts it up. No oh. good. A lot of contact. No whistle. And finally corralled by the Wonder Boys. 11.45 to go. 60-53. to 53. Minnesota State up by seven. Got to love the intensity of the NCAA tournament. Cameron at the top of the key. On that left wing. Hands it off to Peter. Peter for three. His shot is short. Rebound pulled down by Hayes Camp. Peter with just five points, two of seven shooting for the Great American Conference Player of the Year. Malik Willingham, his running lamp is swatted out of bounds. And Minnesota State will keep the basketball timeout on the floor. We'll take one as well. It's the Central Regional of the NCAA Tournament. Second ranked Minnesota State, the top seed in the region. They lead the number eight seed Arkansas Tech by seven. 60 to 53. We're back in 30 on the fan Mankato.
Aaron Worm and Rick Gentilo with you here on the Fan Mankato. Minnesota staying up by seven thanks to a three-point shooting. And Rick, we said this, or we have said this throughout the year. We know Malik Willingham is the focal point for any team on defense, but man, there's just so many weapons. And again, Egan's with 14, Peters with 14. Again, pick your poison. Someone's going to eventually, I guess, burn you. And that's what's happened here in the second yeah. half. And the Mavericks did a really good job. Justin Egan's got his last three because he set a back screen and they tried to help. And that's how he got open. A really good job by the Mavericks of kind of spreading out the floor and setting some screens to get their shooters open that they didn't do in the first half. And I think that's why they have the lead. But, man, 11-24 is a long time to go. But isn't it cool when the intensity of a game is so much different than it was like a month ago? It's just, it's just fun. In men's hockey, that game is now no nut time. Minnesota State still up 3-2, four and a half minutes to go. And Peters goes up with it left block. He's hammered, so a couple of free throws coming up for Dylan Peters. And out of the timeout. I wonder how many times this year the Mavericks have scored on offense out of a timeout because they cleared out the left side of the floor, set a ball screen and rolled it. And Dylan Peters is such a good roller to the basket, and he takes it so strong, and he shoots, he shoots a ton of free throws because he's so good at it. I often ask, is it Coach Morgan Thaler or Coach Schott that's running up those out-of-bones plays at the timeout? Because, again, they're very effective. It's ridiculous. I mean, I've said that for 20 years about how good those two are. Shooting for Malik, trying to get into Peters on a cut and turned it over. They saw that pass coming. Camerad with the steal. Speaking to Camerad, puts it up. Right block shot, no good. Tamped out to the top with the key to Mitchell. Mitchell back to Schaefer. Schaefer looking for a screen. Now on the top of the key, Schaefer for three. His three pointer is no good in and out. Malik Willingham comes down with the rebound. Minnesota State up by 9, 62-53, 10-19 to go in front of a packed house. Over 4,000 in attendance here at Breslin Arena at Taylor Center. Kyrie has the top of the key, hands it off to Elijah, back to Kyrie sliding in, give and go for an easy two. And that's been that's been their halftime adjustment. It's uh, too high, they call it a chin series where they got two guys high, and they've been just really, really good at it. And... If you're Arkansas Tech, you're going to have to figure out how to guard that because they haven't done a very good job the first five minutes or so. Minnesota State, their biggest lead of the game. They're up by 11, 64-53. Checking in down in Oklahoma, Bethany, Oklahoma, Minnesota State women's basketball. They're up by 8, 52-44, 3.48 to go third quarter. Maverick women trying to move into a Monday's regional championship game for the seventh seed in that region. Tell me how that happened. Somebody asked me that today. Now, I guess there is some kind of formula, formula, okay. equation that, that they follow. And the bad part about that this year, and again, Minnesota State, I know they dominated the Northern Sun Conference in women's basketball, but because of the formula, there might have been a second team from the conference that maybe should have got in. Yeah. And the problem with, with the formula th this year, too, if Minnesota State doesn't win their conference championship, the tournament, they might not get into the NCAA tournament and because somebody from the conference yeah. will get the automatic bid. And they're in the top 20? Most they're in 13th yeah. right now. Yeah, I mean, yeah it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So at the timeout, Peter for three. Top of the key, left it short. Rebound pulled down by Malik Willingham. And the women are up 52-44, 3.22 to go in that one. Bramer with 12, Bursch with 12 to lead the way for the Mavericks. That game is stream only online 
the FanMankito.com and KTOE.com if you're looking for that matchup. Peters right elbow. Back to Malik. Nine to shoot on the clock. Malik in the right corner. Malik's going to pull up for a three in front of his own. Bench and knocks it down. Malik Willingham is third three. He's got 13 points. 14-3 of the game for Minnesota State. The Mavericks are up by 14. Take that back. 13-3 of the game. MSU's got nine threes here in the second half. Flop pass inside, and a foul's going to be called. Mitchell went up with it. Boy. Contact from a couple of guys. That hasn't been a foul, though, the entire night. I don't know. So we talked about it. They've let them play throughout the game. Yeah, for sure. 67-53, 14-point lead. Can the Willingham brothers, they have... They have brought the excitement to Minnesota State men's basketball. I see a couple of fans with, I guess you call them fat heads of yeah. <laughs> both the guys. As the foul was called on Malik, that's his second as the first free throw is knocked down by Mitchell. And that's Mitchell's second point. Get Mitchell with three personal fouls. We mentioned a few times, the defensive player of the year. The Great American Conference, but he's had to sit a lot because of foul trouble. Only playing 10 minutes, missed the second free throw. 67-54. Gets one and two. Mavericks up by 13, 8.55 to go. The central... The basketball gets stuck. Yeah. I was thinking about something, Aaron. What's so that? Who's the best? Who's, who's been the best player for Arkansas Tech this year? The best player has been uh, Peter. Peter's been their best player. Again, five times player of the week. Yeah. Also, uh, player of the year in the conference. First team all conference, averaging 19 points a game, 5.9 rebounds. And Peter's two of eight for five points. And I'm going to say that if this game continues the way it is and the Mavericks hang on and win, which they're going to have to play really well for the next 754, it's going to be Kyrie's Willingham because he has been the difference on the defensive end where you haven't noticed the player of the year. I mean, you think about their team. I've noticed the other guys. I haven't noticed him because Kyrie's Willingham has done such a terrific job that when he's gotten the ball, he's been, I mean, he's been really difficult to be able to drive it. He hasn't given him any open looks. Kyrie's has been terrific for the first uh, three quarters of this game. And I know Kyrie's Willingham going into the season, he wanted to be the defensive player of the year in the Northern Sun. Uh, Charlie Katona from Duluth got it. There's always going to be arguments when yeah. you give out any awards, but here in Mankato, we know who the best defender in the conference is, and that's been Kyrie's Willingham yeah. since game one. He's been he's been ridiculously good today defensively, and he's been the difference. What The Mavericks have a 13-point lead because, I mean, a lot of it's been, yeah, good shooting and stuff, but Kyrie's has been terrific on the defensive end. Four players in double figures for Minnesota State. Mavericks up by 13, 67, 54, 7.47 to go. Cameron right side. Over to Braden Tanner, and oh, a foul's going to be called. Tanner on the way up. Oh. So the foul's going to be called on Malik Willingham. That's going to be his third. So the first guy for MSU to pick up their third personal. That's the 15th foul on Minnesota State. So Tanner's going to shoot a couple. 
Tanner is a 90% free throw shooter. Hasn't shot a lot of them. 10 of 11 from the free throw line. Averaging 3.8 points per game. 12.8 minutes. First free throw is good. 67-55. Tanner, a freshman from Dardanelle, Arkansas. Again, mostly a roster made up of young men from Arkansas. This Arkansas Tech team. Second one is also good. 67-56. 11-point lead. For Minnesota State, 7.40 to go. They're going to try to trap here. Full court pressure. Peters in the backcourt. Hard to Malik Willingham. Now they'll drop back into a man-to-man defense. 18 seconds to shoot. Peters top of the key. Hands it out to Malik. Coming around left side. Malik bounce past to Hayes Camp. Bail to the wing to Kyrie. Kyrie's loss of a turnover. Here comes Peter the other way, and he runs into Kyrie. That's going to be a foul on Kyrie. That's going to be a second. That'll be team foul number six. And I'm assuming from an Arkansas Tech standpoint, that's who they're looking to. They're looking to their main guy to, to make something yeah, happen. for sure. I mean, we've played seven minutes, and especially with uh, Schaefer, just he's walking around behind the bench here for him. I would expect him to come back, but... I will say, we, we hope he's okay. Yeah, for you, sure. You always want to see everyone's top players yep. in the game, especially in the NCAA tournament. Peter fakes a shot to the free throw line, gives it to a teammate coming in right side for an easy layup, sharing the basketball. Brooks... Able to score it. And for Brooks, he's up to 16 points. 67-58. Take that back. 18 for Brooks. Right next to the stomper mascot. Not sure what happened there. I think it's a cramp. Peters is over there right away trying to stretch him out. Yeah, we might have to take a timeout if you're Minnesota State. Mavericks do have three timeouts left. They're going to have to take a timeout. It's now the trainer. Kaylee's going to come over, and I'm assuming it's just a cramp. Yeah, I think pretty sure it is. It looks like it. As again, he's counting for the foul. The third on Kyrie. Team foul number seven. Ran into actually one of the Arkansas Tech cheerleaders. She's okay. Then right away, Kyrie went right to the floor on his back. Now they're stretching out both his legs. Well, he's had, I mean, he's been so good today because he's had to, he's had to defend. He's scored. He's rebounded. I can't believe there's not more guys. I mean, this has been a, about as intense a game as we've seen, Aaron. Uh, well, get him to his feet. He's up. Going to slowly walk towards... And he's pointing to his back a little bit, too. Well, he was at half. I mean, he's got stuff on his back during you know, when he's out of the game and stuff, too. I know he's had some tough times with his back, but he'll be back in there. Well, I'm not sure what happened here, but Michigan Tech has scored, uh, has scored a couple of goals. According to this, Michigan Tech just beat Minnesota State in men's hockey. 4-3 final. Hmm. Michigan Tech coming back, scoring three goals in that third period to beat Minnesota State 4-3 in men's hockey. The Minnesota State women, they're in good shape. And Bethany, Oklahoma, as that first free throw is good, they cut the lead down to 8, 67-59, Minnesota State. Minnesota State women up by 16, 64-48 against Fort Hayes State, 9-11 to go in that game. They're trying to finish things off and advance to the Central Region Championship game on Monday night. 
Minnesota State trying to get to the semifinals of the region. Oh. And a turnover on Minnesota State. Hayes Camp run across the timeline. Trying to get to Peters, who is coming across the Maverick logo, and Peters was not expecting the basketball. No. Ends up in the backcourt. It's a turnover on Minnesota State. And right now for Tech, it's a 7-0 run for Arkansas Tech. Mavericks are up by 14. A little over three minutes ago. Minnesota State has not scored for three minutes and 34 seconds. It's a 9-0 run, a pass inside, an easy two for Mitchell. And it's 67-62. Maverick lead down the five. Minnesota State needs a bucket. They do. Malik Willingham yep. left side. Back to the top to Peters. Right side to Egan's. Double team comes on Justin. Back to Peters. Peters oh. trying to get to Brady Williams underneath. Too deep under the basket. Brady puts it up. No good. Rebound pulled down by Brooks. The 9-0 run continues at number eight seed. The winner is the Great American Conference. Trying to pull off a major upset here in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. Mavericks are still up by five, 67-62. Under five minutes to go, but a 9-0 run just when he thought Arkansas Tech was done. Driving right side, right to the bucket, layup no good. Rebound pulled down by Hayskamp. Strong take by Brooks. Brooks has got 20 points to lead all scores. Now Peters in the paint, kicks out to Egan's. Good defense by Schaefer, who's back in. That's good to see. Egan's little floater, teardrop from eight feet away, and the paint goes good. That was a big shot. I mean, the Mavericks needed just to see the ball go in. They haven't scored for a while. Yeah, it was about four and a half minutes yeah. since the last time Minnesota State scored. It felt like a half an hour or 45 minutes, in it? 69-62, <laughs> seven-point game. And now a turnover is knocked away in the right elbow from Mitchell. Turnover number 10 on the Wonder Boys. Nine turnovers on Minnesota State. Mavericks up by seven, 69-62. 4.05 to go from Breslin Arena at Taylor Center. Egan's back to Malik. Malik around the screen from Peters. They're double teaming on Malik. Now Hayes can a tough three in the corner. His shot is long. Rebound pulled down by Mitchell. 69-62. Mavericks up by seven. 29 and 2 on the season. Again, both teams have 10 game winning streaks coming in. Arkansas Tech, the only rep from the Great American Conference in this tournament. Schaefer around the screen. Schaefer at the free throw line. Drops off underneath. Double team comes, puts it up. Partially blocked by Hayes Camp, and a foul is going to be called on Arkansas Tech. That was Mitchell who went up. Good defense by Hayes Camp. And the foul is going to be on Mitchell. Mitchell in frustration, push Hayes Camp, picking up his fourth personal. And a timeout with 3.31 to go. Wow. That's some good action. Well, Rick, when this game is over, and there's been a lot of important buckets, obviously the three threes to start the second half yeah. were big. But that Justin Egan's two-point bucket might turn out to be the most important bucket of the game and in that run by Arkansas Tech. I think so. But, you know, and you know, when you're Arkansas Tech and you're the eighth seed, you don't, I mean, you know, nothing to lose. I mean, you're going in there to play the home team, the second team ranked, second ranked team in the country. You have nothing to lose, so just get after it for the Mavericks you know I was like uh oh I mean the, the feeling wasn't great because 
you know, this is a, a lot of these guys haven't been in the NCAA. I mean, Malik and Kyrie haven't. You know, they haven't been in this kind of a game before. So if the Mavericks can find a way, you know, I, I do think that Peters is, they've done a really good job where Peters has been open and had a chance to go to the basket and get fouled. And that, I think that's why, you know, Arkansas Tech only has four fouls with three minutes to go in the game. I think Peters needs to go and just take it strong to the basket. Um, and we'll see. Once again, we're in a timeout here, and we'll see what the Mavericks draw up, you know, what they come out of the timeout with, because they need, I always look at it like this, 3.30 to go. We need, like, four stops, and we need to be really efficient two out of the four times on offense, and we'll be fine. Um, but you also have to take care of the ball. Well, we should mention Kyrie's Willingham with 15 points. He has joined the 1,000-point club for his career. 1,005 points now for Kyrie, so welcome and he's to back. the 1,000-point club. He's back in there, which is good to see, so yeah. We should mention the second meeting between these two teams. First one was in the opening round of the NCAA tournament, March 16th of 2013. Hmm. Minnesota State won that game 81-65. The second time, the Mavericks and the Wonder Boys have matched up. Full court pressure by Arkansas Tech. 326 to go. Minnesota State up by 7, 69-62. Kyrie's in the front court. Double team comes. Got it to Hayes Camp left side. Gonna try to tramp everywhere. Egan's on top of the Maverick logo. Egan's driving at the free throw line right to the bucket. Wow. Layup is good for Justin Egan. Egan slides in. He's got 18 <laughs> points. The lead is nine. And Justin Egan's with two huge baskets here in the last couple of moments. Right side to Tanner, back to the top to Schaefer. Schaefer, the free throw line pulls up. Shot's going to roll in for Schaefer. And a timeout is called by Arkansas Tech. 71-64, 2.53 to go. Okay, Minnesota State basketball, they, they posted a video this week where Justin Egan's was mic'd up during practice. I saw that, yeah. And uh, Justin, a few times during that mic'd up session, Said the word whoppers, whoppers, <laughs> whoppers, whoppers, whoppers. And it ran into Justin before Andy action started today and said, Justin, I got to ask you, what is whoppers? What is the meaning behind whoppers? And one of his good friends, uh, he said he's going to be mic'd up at practice. And one of his good friends, his favorite place to eat is, is Burger King. Wow. And Justin just thought for a, a nice, I guess, call out to one of his best buddies. I like it. He used the word whopper. Yeah, I like it. That's why the first three that Egan's hit tonight, I, I had to say Whopper. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, okay, I don't know what that means, but that's okay. 71-64, seven-point lead. And a lot of time to go yet. 2.53 to go is a lot of time. The one thing that's nice is Arkansas Tech is out of timeout. Cameron slides around Malik Willingham for an easy layup. Malik just trying to reach in for the steal. He's got three personals. They want to pick up his fourth. The lead's down the five. 71-66, a two-possession game. Peters left side to Hayes Camp. Back to the top to Malik Willingham. And coach of Arkansas Tech, Mark Downey, yelling for a stop. Under two minutes to go. Wonder Boys do have two fouls to give. 
They want to be a little over aggressive. Egan, stop of the key, left side to Malik for a long three. It's partially blocked. Loose ball. Kyrie's picks it up, puts it back up. No good. Oh. Dylan Peters rebound. No oh good, boy. but he's fouled. And a couple of free throws coming up for Dylan. Good job by the Mavericks. Just you know, if if they win, it's going to be they made some threes. Kyrie's played good, but the 50-50 balls and some offensive rebounds that they've gotten tonight have been all really hustle plays. And there's two tips on that one that they got, just because they stayed after it. So Dylan Peters will shoot a couple. And Dylan had 14 points in the first half. He was kind of the offense that kept the, the boat afloat. He was. In that first yeah. half, he's now 7-7 seven seven from the free throw line. 17 points, 7 rebounds for Dylan Peters. And again, Dylan Peters and Elijah Hayes camp transfers from Truman State. They were on a team that got to the Elite Eight. So they've been here, they've done that. Yep. They know what it takes to win in the NCAA tournament. And Peters knocks down the second one. 73-66, seven-point lead, 94 seconds to go. Top-seeded Minnesota State trying to hold on against the eight-seed Arkansas Tech. Schaefer around the screen. Schaefer right side. Three-pointer. His three is no good. Rebound. Battle for it. On the ground. Hayscamp comes up with it. And we have an injured Maverick. That's Kai Reese laying down. And they're going to roll things dead. And Kai Reese, he's been battling. He's a warrior. Uh, and he's he still got, laying yeah. down underneath the bucket. He got hit pretty hard on the rebound, I thought. Malik comes over. Yeah. Elijah Hayes camp helps him up as well. Wonder what kind of encouraging words older brother saying the younger brother. Did he lose a contact? I think that's what they're looking for, yeah. Yeah, he No, he says he's good. <laughs> Is he gonna close one eye when he shoots? <laughs> Not sure if it's a contact or I think what that's happened. That's what he there. said. Malik was looking like, do you have your contact? And Kyrie does not want to come out of the game. The official's coming over to talk to Kyrie Willingham. Kyrie's giving a thumbs up. He says he's okay. okay. Head coach Matt Morgan there is going to roll with it. 73-66. It's a three-possession game with a minute 14 to go. Arkansas Tech looking for a turnover. They're going to trap Kyrie right side to Egan's. Egan's double team in the right wing. Minute 05 to go, and a foul's called on Brooks. Yeah, we're not 100% sure if it's a contact issue with Kyrie or maybe he got bumped in the nose. No, he's, uh, he's wipe, he is wiping his nose right now, but I can't tell. Yeah. Is, is there a little blood on the nose? I maybe that's, that's what it is. What it is okay. yeah. So Justin Egan will shoot a one-on-one. -on -one. Justin having a big game. Knocks down. No, it rattled out. Halfway down, it comes out for Egan. 73-66, seven-point lead, and then he turnover. So Arkansas State got the missed free throw. But they turn the ball over with a minute to go. 73. MSU had lost their last two games in the NCAA tournament. It's the first free throw on Malik is good. Well, if you're an Arkansas Tech fan and you watched online or whatever, if you have, boy, they, I, I really, their team has been terrific. Absolutely. I mean, they've competed and battled and done everything they can to try and put them, themselves in position to win. 
And Malik missed the second free throw, gets one and two. 